Hey guys, Crystal here with Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to show you how to upload an SVG into Cricut Design Space and how to edit it. Um, sometimes the SVGs are not perfectly done the way you're going to want to use them and they'll need a little editing. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is come down here to your left toolbar, click Upload. Select Upload an Image and go find the image that you want to pull in, the SVG that you want. Let's see, here's mine. It's called Cookie Monster. I'm actually going to work on a Cookie Monster file here. Okay, so when you are putting an SVG in, it should already have this background completely removed. It should just be the file that you're wanting to work with. You shouldn't have to do any editing to it. So you just name it. If you want to keep the name it already has, mine's already Cookie Monster, so that's what I'm going to keep. And then you save it. Then you're going to select it and insert it into your project. This might take a long time, it might not, it depends on the size of the file that you are uploading. This one is pretty big. Okay, so here is my Cookie Monster. Now it looks a little different when I uploaded it and that's because the creator of this file uh, missed a few steps on what she was doing. Um, you're going to get that. Every SVG that you upload is not going to be perfect. But that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix all of this. Okay, so if you come over here and you look in your Layers tab, you see all these little teeny tiny like little pieces of Cookie Monster? That's crazy. <laughs> we don't want that. So what we're going to do first is take all of this blue and make it into one piece so that we don't have this line here we don't have all these crazy little bitty segments so what we want to do is first of all ungroup this entire image because if we don't ungroup it whatever edits we make are going to happen to everything so I'm gonna ungroup all of this Okay, now when I go to put this on my design, on the I, I like to put these on sippy cups for little ones, um, I don't want this black outline on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that out. Okay, now that's gone. That was step number one. Now I'm going to take these eyes out just because I'm only wanting to work on this blue here. I'm wanting to make it one big blue chunk. So here go the eyes. I'm taking them out. Then I'm going to come over here to the black eyeball parts. And I'm going to take them out. And then I want to take the big smile out. Okay, now I just have the blue of his face. And it's in a few different layers. So what I want to do is select all of it and attach it so that it becomes one group of things and once it's attached I can weld it. Now that it's welded it is all just one big piece. So if you look over here in my layers tab all those little teeny tiny things went away. Okay, so now I'm going to put back in the layers that I had taken out. So I'm going to bring these eyeballs back in. Come back here, eyeball. Okay, um, when I took that black background out, it, um, it left this empty space between the eyeballs and the blue of his face. 
when I'm putting this on my design, I don't want that empty space there. This is just personal preference, but what I do is I make each eyeball just a little bit bigger. And I reposition them a little. And now my empty space is gone. Another thing I want to do is I want to move them to the front layer because that looks a little funny like that. So I'm going to select this eyeball here, click Arrange, Move to Front. Same thing with this one, Arrange, Move to Front. Now that looks a little more normal. Um, and hold on. I think I actually want to weld those two together. No, I'll leave them like they are. <laughs> Decisions. Okay, now I'm going to put the centers of the eyeballs back in. So I'm going to come back over to this tab here on the right and make those visible again. Now, you can't see them because I moved the white of the eyeball to the front. What I need to do is come in and move the black to the front. That one was easy because it was already highlighted. This one here, I, I'm not going to be able to move it to the front because I can't highlight it. So my other option is to take this white and move it not all the way to the back, just go backwards one layer. That did not work. Move it backwards another layer. Okay, there's my eyeball. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of position these where I want them. Let's see. That looks decent, but I can align them perfectly if I want. To do that, I'm going to come back over here to my Layers tab. I'm going to X these white parts of the eyes out. Then I'm going to drag and highlight only the two eyeballs. No, Cookie Monster. He's a little too far down. you got to move him. Okay, I'm going to highlight the two black parts of the eyeballs. I'm going to come up to align and let's align the bottom. Now they're perfectly centered. I can put these white parts back in and I can move the face back up. Okay, I actually want to kind of tilt Cookie Monster a little bit. And you can do whatever you want here. This is your project. You make it look how you want it to look. And again, I'm going to take this beard layer and move it all the way to the back. Okay, so there's that part. Now all I have to do is put his mouth back in. So I come back over here and I unhide his mouth. Oops. And I'm going to need to rotate it a little bit because I rotated his face. And it's up a little too high. I would like it to come down. And now I have my cookie monster just the way I want him. Um, I was kind of toying with the idea of welding the two eyeballs together. So let me try that and see how it looks. I'm going to hide the black parts of the eyeballs. I'm going to select the two eyeballs. <clears throat> to do that, I'm going to hold, I've selected the left, I'm going to hold the shift and select the right. Now they're selected together. And I'm going to click weld. Ooh, I do like that much better. Okay, so now I'm going to put the black parts back in. Okay, and they're in the back again, so I'm going to click the white. I'm going to move it to the back. Oh, now I'm going to move the blue to the back. Bunch of rearranging you have to do when you've got to work on these SVG files that aren't just perfect. 
but it is just perfect now. So that is how you upload an SVG and how you edit them because they are not always going to be exactly the way you want them to be. Alright guys, thanks for watching.